And we're just a few days out from the great Minnesota get together. Of course, those front gates open Thursday morning, kicking off 12 days of fun at the state fair. Today, preparations for the fair kicked into high gear. The fairgrounds, a flurry of activity today as vendors and others get ready for that big day. Our Rob Olson joins us live with a closer look at how they are preparing now just a couple days away, Rob. Very busy day out here today. Uh, the difference being it's not trouble walking anywhere, it's trouble parking anywhere. There's so many vehicles out here with the setup. Now, uh, again, some vendors started last week, others are rolling in now. One says, you know, they judge what's coming based on what they've heard about other events, and they've all been very well attended, so they're expecting a very good run at the fair come Thursday. It's like a family. It's like the great Minnesota get together. I guess they got the name naturally. So. For a longtime food vendor who comes from southern Indiana, late August in Minnesota always feels like a family reunion. We're all family. You know, everybody around here knows everybody. So if you need something, you ask somebody and they'll help you. Turkey legs on these, and they'll be about 600 on a load. And so it is on this Monday before the fair. Best fair in the world. When you find the mix of veterans like about a foot long in the same family since the late 40s, Cleaning up a trailer that's been in storage since last year. A lot of friends here, you know, it's been such a great fair. Uh, people, the crowds are great. Um, yeah, I couldn't ask for more, more fun. It's our first year at the fair, for sure. We're so excited. We can't stand it. And then the first timers, like the chalk block, so pumped for this, they're essentially set up already with no idea what they're in for come Thursday. No, but that's better if I don't. <laughs> Across the fair with the clock ticking, expectations run high. So we're going to have a record year at the fair this year. That's the word on the street. The race to get 27 jacuzzi hot tubs all loaded in and all of them wired up, which alone is a big job. 8 to 12 hours probably, I'd say. The race to get everything else in place to handle 2 million plus people. <laughs> to get everything ship shape for a 12-day stretch. Weather's looking great, so hopefully we're going to... Have a good shot at some records this year. Excited to get all this going, but in the stress of getting set up, some admit excitement to just getting That's through it. Oh, I love the pair. You just like it when it's over. I like it when it's over, yeah. You hate to hear that, but you can kind of understand because that woman was telling me that she's going to be here like late Wednesday getting everything done. Has, she'll sleep here if she has to to get her booth set up. So there's, again, that mix of people ahead of the game and those know that they're going to be down to the wire. 1.8 million people here last year. The record still 2019 with 2.1, uh, 2.2 million, something like that. But again, uh, expectations now are we're going to see a big number. Mm -hmm. Live at the fairgrounds, Rob Olson, Fox 9. And for a lot of those vendors, they're at fairs all summer, so yes, this is the this end is of their, their season, too. Yeah. Uh, and if right. that forecast holds, which it will, it's going to be warm. Yeah. Right? It'll get people out there. Mm -hmm.